Hi, welcome to this video in which we will discuss an exciting new development in the world of renewable energy called the solar flow battery. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire engineers and technicians for a better and more sustainable world. Subscribe today and keep yourself up to speed in the fast moving world of technology. You may remember the time from your childhood when you thought placing your alkaline non-rechargeable battery in the sun for a few hours might give it some extra juice. While that was more of a myth, solar flow batteries are not. Solar flow battery is the one that can get directly charged with the exposure to sun. In a sense, it is a battery and solar cell combined. One might ask, what is the need for it? After all, we have the solar panels and we already have the lead acid batteries. We can just connect the two and get the same result. Well, the difference is that a solar flow battery, because of its integrated nature, is more compact. There is no loss of energy in the external connections between the battery and the cells. Having your solar system in one piece takes care of a lot of logistics and commissioning issues, particularly if you are aiming to provide energy in remote areas. Solar flow battery uses two liquid ionic solutions for storing energy. These ionic solutions can be stored in tanks. The biggest advantage of solar flow battery is its scalability. It is very easy to scale up for large projects as all that necessarily has to be done is to increase the size of the tanks. There's a lot of research going around the world on solar flow batteries. Some of the more interested countries include the US, China and even Saudi Arabia. So far, a round trip efficiency of 14.1% has been reached. This is extremely promising as with conventional solar panel and battery setup, we can achieve a maximum of 21%. And so the solar flow batteries in the short span of research are comparable with conventional setup that has decades of research behind it. Experts in the field suggest that the solar flow battery has the potential to reach 25% round trip efficiency which would make it very lucrative option as opposed to just being commercially viable. As for now, this product has just passed its proof of concept stage. The battery can operate in three different ways. In the first mode, the solar battery can soak up the sun and store it as chemical energy. In the second mode, it can provide power just like a normal battery. And lastly, it can be charged from an external power source also. Solar flow batteries have had a fair share of teething problems. Initially, the ionic liquids created for the flow battery were organic solvents and carried a higher environmental impact. However, a new brand of chemicals were found that replaced the organic solvents with a more environmental friendly and cost effective iodine redox based aqueous solution. Let's explore how does the solar flow battery work. In the batteries, the photo assisted charging process occurs when the sunlight illuminates the dye molecules causing them to become photo excited and inject their electrons into the photoelectrode. Tests done so far have shown that lithium ion solar battery has a theoretical capacity of 35.7 amp hour per liter, which is close to that of conventional lithium ion batteries. And it can be photo charged for about 91% of its theoretical capacity. Let's hope that this battery is commercialized soon and can benefit people who are still not connected to the electric grid. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from the video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We have tons of videos on solar power systems and renewable energy. Make sure to check them out too. Thank you for your attention.